The major construction in Converse is causing some major headaches. Crews are working to expand Rocket Lane to alleviate traffic there. But as one nonprofit tells our Daniela Ibarra, the construction is coming at a cost. Behind these gates is a safe space. So we typically have around 40-ish dogs at a time, um, 60 cats. Leslie Grimes is the president of the Converse Animal Shelter. It's a nonprofit, no kill shelter in Converse that helps the city shelter. We like to pull from them to help their um, cause, to help them become no kill as well. But Grimes says the city hasn't returned the help. I don't think they know how much this has impacted us. Um, right, we've had a drop in donations and adoptions. It's really hard for people to get out here. The shelter says this construction has made it difficult for people to get to the front entrance to drop off their donations. We've had one donor actually fall and break their leg and had to have surgery due to this construction. Once the work is done, Grimes says the shelter's entrance will have to be moved. This right here is what we're going to have taken out, these three runs right here, um, so that we can have an entrance from the parking lot into our shelter. She says it'll cost around $11,000 just for demolition. I've tried contacting the city manager several times. I know our volunteers have as well. We have heard um, from the animal rescue on Rocket Lane that they've, they've had some you know conflicts with the construction. Converse assistant city manager Howard Kuntz says he knows it's frustrating. Never been a part of a capital project like this in my nearly 20 years of working in local government. He says there's been some delays due to weather and admits it'll still be a while until it's finished. Right now we're thinking best case scenario is probably going to be late spring. Grimes says the shelter just wants to be heard. We kind of feel like we are being um, forgotten about and tossed aside. Yell Ibarra, he's at 12 News. Kuhn says the Converse Animal Shelter is welcome to call him. He also mentioned the option of going there to speak with shelter administrators. Grimes says that hasn't happened yet. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.